Michael, I'm a little concerned about some of your observations. I'm going to speak to one of the doctors about them on the telephone. I'm going to give you a call bell here. If you need me at all, just press the button on the top of it there. I'll only be gone a moment. Is that okay? Yeah. Hello, is that the registrar? Yeah, it's Adam. What can I do for you? Hi there. Um, I'm a staff nurse on Ward 10. I want to talk to you about a patient who's got a new score of 9. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's a patient that was admitted with abdominal pain and vomiting. But he's got a respiratory rate of 25 with a saturation of 92 on air. He's got a heart rate of 120 with a blood pressure of 105 over 50. Also a temperature of 38.5. I wonder if you can come and see him for me. Yeah, he sounds pretty sick. I'll be up straight away. Can you do me a favour and ring the F2 and ask her to meet me there, please? Certainly. Will do. Hi, Michael. My name's Adam. I'm one of the doctors. Is that right if I call you Michael? Mm. OK, how are you feeling? Awful. OK, yeah, you're not looking too good. OK, I just need to do a bit of an assessment on you to see how you're doing and how you're getting on. I'm happy with his airway, but can we get some oxygen on him? High flow, 15 litres, please, yep. non-rebreathe, because I'm a bit concerned he appears to be working mm -hmm. hard to breathe. Can you also put him a SATS probe on as well, yep. please, and check his respiratory rate? I'm just going to check your respiratory function, see how well you're breathing. OK, trachea is central. Can you take a deep breath in for me, please? Okay, okay, so it's got good equal chest expansion. I'm just going to tap your chest and listen to it, okay? Listen to how it sounds. Okay, there is equal resonance there. Michael, I'm going to have a quick listen to your chest as well. Just breathe nice and normally for me. Are you able to sit up for me, Michael? Oh. Michael, I'm just going to quickly listen to your back. And we'll sit you back. Okay, it's got good ache there, and we know I did sounds there. Okay. Spruit rate is 25. Okay, what's the saturations doing? Saturations are um, 95 on the oxygen. Okay, that's quite low and high respiratory rate. It's really, really warm there. I'm going to move on to circulation. I'm not happy with his breathing. Can you check his pulse and his blood pressure for me, please? Okay. And you feel really warm to touch there, Michael. Okay, I'm just going to pinch your finger right here. Quick press of your nail bed as well. One, two, three, four, five. Two. It comes back pretty quickly. No signs of dehydration, but you are very, very warm. Just have a quick listen to your chest there. Listen to your heart. Okay, your heart's quite fast there, but there's no added sounds. Pulse is 120. Okay. 120. Okay, do we have a blood pressure yet? No, almost Just there. Doing it now. Can we get him on a heart monitor? Because I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned. You know, he's very warm. He's got a high, fast, fast heart rate. Um, I think we should put him on a cardiac monitor. How's his urine output been doing, Bill? He's been self-voiding. Um, we dipstick to a sample, and he was positive for protein and, and leukocytes. Okay, fine. Okay, so he's brewing a bit of a urinary infection. We'll be looking at what we're seeing here. Hi, Annie. Thank you for coming. I'm really quite concerned that Michael here has got sepsis from a urinary background here. Can you put a cannula in for me, please, and take off some bloods? Can you get an FPCs, use and ease? Can we get a CRP? Can we get a blood cultures with that group and save? And can we also take a bit of blood for blood sugar as well, please, and let yes. me know when oh. that's done? Oh. When we've got that cannula in, can you get um, a bag of 500 mils of saline, please? Mm -hmm. I mean, put that in stat. And can you get some IV antibiotics as well really, for me, Billy? And I'll give those while you're getting that fluid okay. attached. Will do. Michael, I'm just going to check your level of consciousness and neurology there. How are you feeling at the moment? Oh, improvement? Oh, oh. Okay, so you're responding to voice there. Okay, they're size 4, equal and responsive to light. I'm just going to assess your abdomen and your stomach and see how you get on. Have you got any pain down there at all? Oh. Okay. How did that feel? Any pain at all? Oh. I'm just going to check how your kidneys are doing. 
Okay, okay. so abdo soften on tender, but you do have some loin pain. I'm just going to check and see if there's anything I'm missing. Okay, just expose you. Okay, no signs of rashes, no bleeding. Not sure you're 7.2 and okay. I've taken the other blood. Great, thank you, Yanni. Can we mark those as urgent? Make yeah, sure they sure. get sent off. Are you able to get a temperature for me there, please, Bill? Yes, certainly. Thank you. Just going to put a little probe in your ear, Michael. Thirty-eight point five. Okay, so I really think this is this is sepsis here, Michael. Yeah. You've got quite a severe infection here, yeah. so I'm getting in contact with the ITU doctors to come down and assess you and give you a hand. We've started you on some IV fluids and we're getting antibiotics into you as yeah. well. I'm going to take another blood sample from you and we need to put a urinary catheter in. Do you know what one of those yeah. is? Okay, Yanni, can you take a blood gas for me, please? I want to see what lactate is doing. Yeah, okay. they're done urgently. Yeah, sure. Bill, can you set up for a urinary catheter as well and put that in as well and let me know when this fluid's through. I'm going to speak to ITU and get them to come down and assess urgently and speak to my seniors as well and let them know what's going on with Michael because I'm really quite concerned.